Are you looking for an affordable 3D printer? Well, there may be one that I think you should know about right now. All right, so I'm not gonna hold out on you. It's the A1 Mini from Bamboo Labs. I just picked one up and I can't give you a review of it yet because I haven't used it. It's actually one that I picked up specifically for having it in my house. I don't need anything big and powerful and fast at home, but sometimes I need to print some stuff, some random things like, hey, I need a broom holder and I don't have any metal to bend up or whatever, but it's something that could be printed up in like 20 minutes or whatever. Maybe a good thing to teach my kids on how to model at the time or whatever. So I got the A1 Mini for the house. They are on sale right now for $200 from Bamboo. I don't know how long they are going to last. They said that it's like a Black Friday special, but I mean, we're like a month away from Black Friday, but so whatever. But they got them on sale for 200 bucks, which in my opinion is extremely cheap for a good, what they call a mini printer, but this used to be our standard size of printers. Uh, I don't even know what the bed size is, like 200 millimeters or 180 millimeters or something like that. If you're looking for a printer, just go look it up. But for 200 bucks, it's a really good deal in my opinion because, well, it's bamboo, so it's gonna be pretty fast. They've got the, lack of noise it is super quiet i did the 15 minute it shakes itself to be quiet thing and yeah it, it actually got a lot quieter over from the start to the finish you know that's one thing that my daughter used to complain about when i was running the old uh it was a mono price mono price was at nighttime it would keep her up because the it would just echo through the hvac system i guess through our floor vents so she could hear it and it would keep her up. This one doesn't do that. Uh, it, it makes almost no noise at all. So if I have it somewhere in the house and there's HVAC lines that go to her room or whatever, she's probably not gonna be hearing it. I mean, it's cheap, it's fast. It has linear rails on it instead of belts and stuff this time, which is really cool. Uh, a lot of my old ones, I literally just wore them out uh, because either they would have you know, your, your stainless whatever steel and then you have like delrin if you're lucky bushings on there and those would just wear out so like your your head carriage or whatever you've got your two rails and then you have these two bushings on there and every oh couple thousand hours if you're lucky they wear out and if you're not lucky like 500 hours maybe tops then your head starts to move like this which means that your printer head is moving like this and like this and that makes it to where anytime there's a change of direction you would get this like just nasty wide loop on there. So the fact that it has linear rails means it's gonna run for a really long time without wearing itself out like the old style printers would at least. So for 200 bucks, linear rails, really fast and quiet. You can use their slicing software, but I prefer Orca Slicer because it doesn't need an internet connection all the time. So I can just download that on thumb drive, throw it into my computer that is not connected to the internet and everything stays stable. You don't have to worry about the A1 updating itself for some random time and then all your slices are bad. Hey, just check out the Facebook group for the Bamboo Labs to see yet another one that they just released that ruined everybody's slices. So yeah, my suggestion on that is just don't update. If it's working fine, don't update. Uh, that's another video for another time though. So uh, back to what I was talking about, A1 Mini. It's on sale right now. I feel that $200 is a really good deal for that style of printer. Maybe the bed would be big enough for you, so check it out. And if it's not, there's lots of other models in the world that are available from all sorts of different companies, including Bamboo Labs, which I have really liked their offerings. So if you need a 3D printer, go check it out. You've made it to the end of the video. Hopefully that means you liked what you saw. If you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, and definitely comment down below. We would like to hear new ideas from you, so be sure you let us know what you'd like to see. There are some other suggestions probably floating by my head right now that you can check out. And otherwise, we appreciate your support and your help growing the channel.